Good morning. Uh, first, I'd like to thank God for blessing us all. Let's see another day that wasn't promised to us. i like to thank God for all His grace and all His mercy that kept us alive today. I want to thank God for everything. I want to thank God for all the storms that made me stronger and stronger and stronger in Him. Because I'm going to say I had some good days. I had some bad days. I'm not going to lie. You know, I had some days I wanted to throw in a towel in, but I had to remind the devil who I was. You know, like I tell people, it's not an easy walk with God. You know, I'm human. You know, I cry, but I had to let the devil know who I was. I had to go plenty of times in my prayer closet and let the devil know who I am. You know, it's not easy. Just God is showing me a whole lot by, about people. You know, the heart that I have, people don't have. But I can't stop. I can't stop having a good a good heart because everybody don't have a good heart like mine. You know, I gotta continue to have that good heart because God gave me that good heart for people. You know, I can't be selfish and stop giving my good heart because other people don't have the same heart as I have. You know, God has to deal with people that been against me and talking about me and putting their mouth on me. You know, God been showing me. You know, the snakes and other people, you know, but I'm not worrying about it because God is my my fighter. God is my provider. You know, people praying for my downfall, but I'm not worried about it because I serve a mighty God. And God is going to protect me and God is going to fight for my enemies against me. They're trying to put their mouth on me. So you keep talking about me and watch God get finished blessing me and watch when I get finished, God get finished working on me. God going to bless me in your face, you know. And I just thank God for continuing to raise me up when I fall down at times. God going to continue to raise me up, you know. I'm going through this for a reason, and the enemy have nothing to do with what I'm going through. But I come on here just to say stay strong in the Lord. Stay encouraged. Don't let the enemy beat you down. Let him know that no weapons form against you should prosper. You belong to God. You more than a conqueror. But my main thing I come on here to let you know, you all, that the enemy is busy. Yes, the enemy is busy with the lady named Lisa. I think her name is Lisa Davis. Yesterday, the media went out there to her job and they got mad at her because they didn't want to, she didn't want to issue a marriage license to the gay people. And she stood on God's, um, God's words, and I don't blame her, because it was me. I would never did it either. You know, that's our right. We stand on God's words. I wouldn't issue no license. I say again, I would not issue the license either, period. You know, she going to be held accountable if she would have did that. So guess what? She might be in jail. But I say the devil, you a liar that no weapons form against us should prosper. And we got real saints, not the poor time the ones play, say, I'm going to pray for her. No, the real saints keep her in prayers. Because they're talking about throwing her in jail because she didn't give them a license or whatever. So, you know, you all, I already said that in this time of this month, things going to start happening. And there you go. Stuff already happened with her not giving people the marriage license. They want to throw her in jail because of her Christian belief. Because she believes in God and she's not going to give no one no marriage license. So y'all stay in prayer with her. Pray, 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 pray. Because we know that God is in control. We know that people would hate us because of God's name, because of Jesus' name. And Jesus already said they would hate us, they would kill us, they would do anything to us. Like I say, I don't care if no one hate me, no one like me. I don't care. I don't care if I lose friends. God is my protection. God is my everything. I walk by faith, not by sight. I'm not here for the world. I'm here to go out and save the lost in the world. I'm out here to heal, save, and deliver. I'm not worrying about what people say or think about LaShawn. I'm not worried about that. I'm worried about doing the kingdom business. I don't care if I lose people on the way. I don't care. I really don't care. God is showing me who is for me and who is against me. I don't care. 
My mind's made up. I don't care what people say about me. Stop worrying about what people think about you. You lose people. Oh, well. God is not going to never leave you or forsake you. You focus on God only. Stop worrying about a man. Stop worrying about a girlfriend. You focus on Jesus. Stay out the worldly things. God say, renew your mind. Okay, you can't worry about the worldly things. You can't be in the world and be in God's business too. God said you cannot serve two masters. You cannot love one and hate the other. You have a choice. And you're going to walk with God or you're going to be with the devil. You can't do both. So today is the day you got to make a choice. You cannot be in the club and be in God's business too. You cannot tell somebody about God and still be in the club. You cannot do it. It's time to repent. It's time to get your life right. Because God told me two years ago, many people going to die, perish, because of the lack of knowledge. Many people are already turned away from God's words. Many people are already mad at me and others because they mad, because they living in sin and saying somebody judging them. No, devil, you a liar. You don't want to hear God's truth. That's all it is to it. I didn't want to hear God's truth, but the truth set me free. The truth delivered me. The truth healed me. The bondage set me free. The stronghold set me free. The chains broken off of my life. Everything has broken and set me free because I heard the truth from God. So it's time to get your life right today and stop playing with the devil because you're going to end up getting burnt at the end. Many Christians are dying today thinking they were saved and going to hell. Many people are in hell right now and never knew the Lord. It's time to go out throughout this world and save a lost soul. You know many people that's lost out here in this world, family members, friends that don't know nothing about Jesus Christ. Tell them who God is. Tell them your testimony. I pray every day when I go out that God use me in a mighty way to witness to someone to let them know God love them. I love them. Everything going to be okay. Put your trust in man. Stop putting your trust. No, I'm sorry. I did not mean to say that. Put your trust in God. Stop putting your trust in man. Put your trust in Jesus report and stop putting your man in, in God. I mean, stop putting your trust in man report. People believe what, what, what the doctors tell them, but don't believe what Jesus report tell them. God said we already healed in Jesus' stripes. We already healed. Stop believing what man say. We already sick. We ain't going to live between past 24. We sick. The devil is a lion. God said we already healed. God said rise up and sin no more. Rise up. Get out that bed and rise up and use God's words and God say rise up right now in the name of Jesus. And you are healed. You are delivered. Stop speaking sickness on your body. Now you're sick because you've been speaking on yourself for years. Now you can't do nothing because you've been laying in that bed for 20 years. Now you can't get up.